Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 35, and this is the first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Get Out of My Kitchen. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have. I'm going to go this screen first. Who did they ban? Oh, great. They banned uh, my Spider-Man 2099 right off the bat. I don't like the banning system. I really don't. You know, I mean, I've talked about that before. You put all these resources into your champions because they're good in war, and you just allow the other team to say, well, no, you can't use that one. Come on, man. Anyway, let's uh, preview real quick here. And I am with a beast of a, a group, man. Look at this. Already, already Minnie is down. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. And who do we got? We got uh, Dr. Doom. All right. Well, I don't see anybody here that'll give me problems. So uh, I will go in with my Nick Fury, Warlock, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. That should take care of that. And um, if I'm asked to help with the boss, I can do that. Um, Nick Fury can usually uh, take care of uh, Dr. Doom. That Sauron would be a problem. I, I don't want to fight him. I really don't. But we'll see. This is the uh, first war with a new batch of uh, people coming in, and they are some beasts. So we'll see. The game right now is not in a great state, but we'll see uh, how they're able to perform. So, all right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we are back, and let me tell you, spoiler alert, this war did not go very well for many of us. All right, but... We'll talk about that when uh, we get there. All right, so first fight is going to be against Guillotine 2099. And my basic uh, way of uh, dealing with her is to knock her down right off the bat. So I want to get a parry and a heavy. Once her digi cloak is on cooldown, then I can go and fight. And after that, it's just a matter of monitoring her digi cloak because I don't want it to fire off in the middle of a combo because you'll get wrecked. All right, so that's what you're going to see me do here. Parry, heavy, there we go. I got a lot of power from that because, of course, she's immune to the uh, bleeds that I put on. All right, so I pushed her to a special two, and the uh, special two... If you dash back three times, you can counter that with a heavy. But sometimes you can dash back with just two dashes. But anyway, um, you'll see me do it here. See right there, I tried to do the three and it worked. And this fight's almost over now. And we're done. Just that quick and easy. She's not difficult to fight as long as you keep that digi cloak in mind. You do not want to deal with that digi cloak. All right, so down she goes. Usually we don't see somebody on that node because it's a pretty easy node to deal with. Now we've got Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer, I have to fight him in Alliance Quest every day. Uh, section 2, Path 8. That is a annoying, a very annoying fight. All right, but fighting him is pretty straightforward. Now, if he doesn't play ball, it can be really annoying. You can get caught by his uh, special one if you're not careful. Uh, the special two, you have to be, <laughs> at least I have to be ready to evade that or else I will be too close, get caught, is not pretty but as you can see here we're doing just fine all right 
And there we go. Finish it with a special two. And we're done. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but we went through a restructuring. Uh, quite a few people were basically asked to leave uh, due to their performance. And we have a bunch of new folks in and they so far seem really good all right so very happy with that um so here we go section two again i'm taking path three and this is a pretty straightforward easy fight against guardian claire rocks this node uh for the most part i don't even have to deal with the uh global all right so I really don't want to fire off a bunch of specials against him because he has a tendency to auto block things. So I just basically fight him straight up normal. And what I want to do is just block. His, his uh, specials don't do a lot of damage blocking. See, look at this. Not a lot. So you just block that first part and then move back. Just like that. Quick. Simple, easy, all right? Wash, rinse, and repeat, all right? So here we go. Just evading it, no problem. And I was just trying to get him down a little bit low here. All right, here we go. One, two, three, bow, and done. I just wanted to, you know, play it safe. I could have finished the fight off with... Um, uh, special three uh, earlier, but played it safe. All right, next fight. We've got Modok. Modok can be very annoying to fight. And I remember making a video a long time ago on how to fight Modok. His auto block can be really, really painful. Okay. And Claire especially on this node uh, because his auto block with that explosive personality can be really annoying, but Claire can um, nullify the uh, armor ups so that he doesn't ever uh, go unblockable. All right. So here we go. I try not to do full hit combos against him when he has his auto block up. Okay, and I try to bait out his special ones as much as possible. Just have to keep focused and keep track, you know, of his auto block. And Claire can do this fight pretty well. All right. You just have to be careful. He likes to fire off those heavy attacks and they can catch you. All right. Right there is one of the reasons that I it's risky to fire off your special because he got his unblock or his uh, auto block up before I finished. And then look at that. So that was my first clue that things were not going to go well. So I'd been fighting him just fine all of that time and suddenly I swiped and she did not move. Now, something to note if you want to know when that happens, if you see my character just stand there not blocking just standing there it's because i let my finger off the block to swipe otherwise i'm usually blocking okay so that's a, a really good telltale sign that i failed or the input failed on me because i don't block and you can see here, I'm having issues. I'm having some issues and I'm also fighting and I'm upset. Look at this. I'm just like, what is going on? It's almost like I lost control of my character here. And so I'm just like, I don't believe this. Are you kidding me? You know, I was like, am I gonna die? But we got through that fight. So I'm just like, wow. Now, other people in my alliance were also complaining about similar things where the uh, inputs were just wonky, okay? I don't normally uh, 
suffer from the inputs like that. But when I do, it's really noticeable for me because it doesn't usually happen. All right, so now we've got Nimrod. Now, this might be the last time I fight Nimrod with my Warlock. We may try to find a better counter. Warlock can do it. You see me do it, but it seems to be hit or miss. And I've gotten him, I've beaten him, but uh, I've also lost to him. Now, this is a rank four Nimrod, okay? And keep in mind that I just went through a lot of input issues. I haven't even restarted the game. And I don't have the beta on. This is just the regular um, input system. So watch this fight. All right, so of course I do the same thing each time. I parry, 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 build up the infection so that I can deal with the um, regen. All right, uh, on that node, see, all that regen, don't worry about it, he's not gonna heal up. So just wanna keep the infections up. Don't know what happened there, really don't. So that was pretty much a waste of my power uh my power up and i'm just like wow okay this is already not starting well so you can see here i'm trying to get the uh, infections back up there's the energized i didn't bother trying to uh evade it just block most of it all right here we go there we go quick and easy right easy to block his special two i mean uh to evade the special two all right, so the infections wore off here, so he healed up a little bit. Um, but here we go with the energize again, boom, boom. But so far we're doing pretty well. Okay, we're doing pretty well. So I'm trying to, you know, get some more parries in, and and you know, there we go, got the infection up. All right, just you know, a couple of parries just to make sure I had the infections. All right, here we go. See, the infections fell off again. Here we go, now we got the infections up. It's unblockable. I evaded most of it, but got clipped. But as you can see, the damage was not that much. So we're still doing good, still doing very well. All right, so now he's got a special two, which you saw me move before. All right, boom, boom, boom. Nice and easy, right? It was an unblockable. We didn't care, we know how to evade uh, his special two. Not a big deal, okay? Energize, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so here we go, we're still going. We had the infections up, so he did not uh, evade. I mean, uh, he didn't regen that time. All right, and see, here we go, I'm getting more. All right, and there we go. And then that happened. And after that, I was like, really? Okay. That, that was not nice, but we can still pull this out. Well, unblockable. Hey, evaded. Okay. So I'm like super focused right now. And I'm just like, okay, we got it. We got to do this. There's this special two again. We got this. Boom, boom. And it did not dash. I stood up and just got hit. No dash. Now you saw me evade that twice before. And I think it was twice, maybe three times, you know? And that first time I messed up, I knew that my inputs were starting to go wonky again. And that is what happened. And I did not try to take that fight again. I sat right there and said, nope, I'm done. My inputs are not working right. I've already died twice in this war. Forget it, you know? Um, and so uh, we had someone else come in and they, cleared it and we did end up clearing everything. Uh, I didn't do any more fighting after this. So we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back and as you can see, we lost this war. So not getting off to a great start, but we do have a new crew and our leader had a come to Jesus meeting with everybody basically telling them that this performance was embarrassing. We died almost three times more than they did. So it was embarrassing. But let's just chalk that up to 
a new crew learning to work together and hopefully we'll get better going forward. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.